Hey gang, Lou here from Jersey Shore Fabricators. So our little Colorado's back. We're finishing up uh, what we started last week. As you can see, the winch bumper's installed, the winch is installed, got the rope on here, ready to go. I'm just gonna walk you around what we did. Uh, there's plenty of videos on installing the GoFab bumper. I'm not gonna waste your time with it. Uh, I've said many times before on the channel, I'm not a how-to channel, I'm a how-I-do-it channel. So you do it your way, I do it my way. Either way, as long as nothing comes apart, everything is good. So let me show you what's going on here. All right, so with the winch installed, the rope comes under the drum. All right, try to do this if you can all in one shot. Uh, we had to put the winch on and we didn't have the power to it yet. So I take the fascia off. But as you can see, the rope is, or your cable is gonna come up under the drum. And then when you go to winch it in, that's how it's gonna pull in. That's how winches work, okay? Now we got the cabling running up through uh, the middle of the truck here, or the end of the truck here. <clears throat> Passes through, I gotta put a grommet. And then comes up here, hooks to the battery. Now the same thing with the light, okay? The light is hooked up to battery power, has a fuse. The kit itself comes with a relay, okay, which is right here. And then what we did with the wire, because it's a new truck, I don't like drilling holes and things, is we're, there's a big cavity right, right down inside here. So it comes through that cavity, in through the grommet where the door wiring is. Okay. Uh, and then I ended up putting the switch here. So now if you haven't, wanted, haven't had one of these apart, these two modules up here, these two modules up here, they take up all the real estate up here. Okay. Uh, plus there's a metal... Uh, support pan behind here which I had to cut okay and make room for the switch so with the switch on okay it's certainly bright enough so now at this point <clears throat> what we're gonna do uh, is we're going to go ahead and winch the cable in. Now, one thing to be particular about when you're bringing the cable in is you want it to make nice, even rows. You don't want it lapped on top of itself. All right. Um, the cool thing about this bumper is that there's enough room to come in through this front hole and you can actually reach up here and grab your uh, grab the clutch. Okay, you're not going to get to the power switch over here, so just leave it in. You know, leave it in the on position, and then you can, you can or can't with this particular winch. You can leave this cable plugged in in case your battery dies, but the factory remote is wireless. Okay, see, no wires. So we're going to go ahead and get this uh, reeled in and get this project buttoned up. All right, so if you see what's going on here, there you can see the, the nice even uh, wraps as it's coming around the drum. I'm just gonna keep on doing that until I get down to the end of this first wrap. All right, now normally, if you're off-road and you're doing a recovery, you do not want to come off the drum. The drum actually helps keep the rope tight. You don't want to just rely on that little screw to pull the cable, to pull you out of whatever it is that you're in. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is somewhere right around here on the rope, all right, take some spray paint, white, silver, whatever, something contrasting, so that when you see that come out, you know that's where you need to stop. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so you can see that I spray painted that silver. So now this guy will know that's the end of the rope. That, no pun intended, but that's the end of the rope. That's, you know, don't go any further than that. 
Uh, so now it's just keep on, you know, making the wraps on the drum this way. It is recommended that you have at least a thousand pounds on the other end of the rope or cable, whatever it is that you're reeling onto your drum. I don't have anything to anchor in my shop. Uh, this customer has a, another property out of state. He could hook up to a tree and do his preload out there. Right now, I just need to get this in here. Obviously we have a little bit of a problem here because this isn't going to be very good going down the road. So <laughs> I'm just going to take this off. Yeah, and just wind it all up. That's why I said I forgot the, the D-rings. Now, when you get to the end, make sure you let go. Don't get your dick beaters in there, okay? What? Now, at this point, once the customer gets his D-rings, this will come out, get attached to that. But for yeah. right now, I could just dangle like that. All right, gang, so we're all wrapped up here. The bumper's on, the winch is in, the lights are on, the Scoofy license plate bracket is on here that they give you. Uh, I really suggest getting one of the spring down ones to put your plate on or move it up here with a couple of wire ties, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Uh, all in all, it wasn't a bad project. Uh, the hardest part was actually figuring out where all the screws were for the front end uh, and getting the wires on the inside. So everything's operational, the man is ready to roll, he's got a fresh oil change. If you learned anything, great. If you didn't, well, still great, and thanks for stopping by. Until we see you next time, peace.